Okay, fuck. Um, yeah, welcome back. We're having trouble with Nate. Nate here, Nate Dog. Nate G, homie. Um, let's see. Can I use my decoy? Because she's going to trap me, and then Ada's going to talk about dying, and then she gets a lot harder for some reason. Oh, shit. I got her. Uh, damn, the decoy doesn't do shit. Yep, it's got to be the story thing. So, boop. And then now we do the trouble butt. That decoy is actually really useful. Oh, wow. She just ate shit. Yeah! You want a long range battle? I'll give you a long range battle. Coming for that ass, Turkish. Wow, uh, okay, so this is much easier and flaccid. Oh, now you want to do up close? Now I'm going to get my shit pushed in. Watch. Watch. Oh, never mind. I guess I'm just going to win. Yay! I can't believe I had so much trouble last time. Damn, girl! There's these fucking spikes in. Oh, no! You should have used Playtex. You should have used Playtex, hun. Oh, God. Is the, the mech bleeding? Is the mech bleeding? What? Why? Look at the dick standoff. The dick off. Look at them dicks. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Wow, get it, voice actor. Crying child. It's Why kind of just kill me a now? horrifying thing to look at. I will. Ah! Ah! Don't say that. I won't. Damn, he's losing his shit. I'm gonna come fuck your holes. Ew. Why do I keep going there? Very well. I didn't lose this time. Shh. Okay. Good. What? Are we getting chided by our mother slash AI waifu that we want to bang very clearly in the second game that I continue to say I won't talk about and then continue to talk about? It's the running joke. Shut up. Don't, don't mess with my genius. My genius. Look at that derpy car. What's, what's, what wind is blowing here? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh wait, we're not oh knowing anymore. We already know what they're doing. So now we gotta go do a thing. But wait, we're done because we're a whiny dumb shit kid. Oh my god. Becky. Look at her butt. It is so big. She's also got a giant cockpit. Ha 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 You're a military trained fucking wrestling guy from video game. Fighting games. Jesus Christ. I don't want to do that. No, I want them to destroy the entire colony. Eh, I'm a kid. Hey, I don't want to be involved. I just want to go home and have PTSD about my dead friends. Hey, I'm a fucking kid. Jesus Christ. So far up your own ass. Little wine. Oh, he is 14, I guess. Thanks for being the voice of reason, anime lady. You but what did you do up to this point? Oh no! 
The entire colony is gonna explode. What the fuck are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What the fuck is wrong with you fucking kids? Ah! God damn it! Fucking Japan. Oh! Oh god! Killer 7! Damn! She's turning into a vampire. Oh no, she just got shot. She's dead as fuck. That was a extremely good shot. How can you fire like that? You're clearly dying to death from internal bleeding. You need this done to you. Look at that red dot sight. That's awesome. Is that the first appearance of a red dot sight in video games? Oh my god. Wait, so she can perfectly shoot a pistol out of a guy's hand without hurting the guy, but she shoots just like, she just grazes the side of the little girl? Does she just not want to kill kids even though she's clearly trying to kill this one? And now she's just standing there, just looking. Oh. Well, that explains it. So she just wants to fight, okay. Why didn't she fight right there and she jumped down there and start punching everybody? Oh yeah, because he's there and he can do crazy grapple throws. Because he's a fighting game character. THUNDERHEART! Rock Thunder King. Explosion Death Justice. Look, I can name I can name anime characters too. Leo. Damn, that was way after the fucking fact. Could you please? That's exactly how you provide aid. You just sit there and hold the girl and then yeah. I'll take care of her. You take care of what you Cool! So now we're gonna fucking go kill some shit. Yay! Go fuck him up, Leo! Oh my god! Video game anime moment! Yeah! Let's do it! We have found our resolve to fight. We have to kill people who shoot little girls. It's not the worst motivation ever, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that is not the worst motivation I've ever seen. God, he is pissed off. Look at him, he's like, I'm gonna fucking murder you, you fucking bitch! I'm so sick of your stupid bullshit! I just wanted to do nothing! I just wanted to work at Walmart the rest of my life! And now look at what you have me doing! Look at what you've done to me! You fucking bitch! You ruined this for me! Ah! Okay, on the real though, it's time for some bullshit to happen. We will be excreted, you might say. Whee! Inside another one of Kojima's shafts, I see. We will arrive at our destination in approximately five minutes. You got five minutes to J.O., bro. You got five minutes. Oh, wait. Ada got rid of the porn. She got rid of the porn. What are you going to do now? Yeah, I guess you can use her. Well, yes, of course I. Can we talk? If you do not mind. No. The AI is learning. She's learning. Next thing she's gonna learn is to resent us. In a best case scenario, there is an 8.7% rate of survival. Oh no! You have asked for numerous transfers from your duties aboard Jetty. You have a pretty official way to put it. May I ask? Why you are still here? Because the game wouldn't be able to go with blah blah blah. I am simply asking out of curiosity. Well, I really don't know. That looks almost like it's an animated picture. Like, look at that. That looks like something straight out of a fucking anime. That looks so good. That looks really good. Emotional revenge for placing your crew's life in danger. Maybe you're right. But I really don't know myself. 
It's because you're a killer and you've always been blah 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 blah. I don't know. I'm just talking out my ass. As per always. I do not want you to die. Aww. Because I love you and I wish I, I have to open an injection port for you to inject me with your love juices. Oh god. Why does my brain keep going there? What do you mean? You're your dad. Oh. Well then why did you expect your dad to be at home? Aw, he's so sad. I don't remember any of this at all. Yeah? Wow. Bitch. Aww. A bunch of assholes. I, I think I had to do it. Yeah. It's always been like that. I was the child no one wanted. No That's strange. Even if I died, was this in the first was in this no this blah, 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 words reset button. Okay. Was that in the original version? I don't remember. It's a decent motivation, I guess. <laughs> there are even people to give me orders when I don't understand what's going on. There are people who need me finally. And for them, eh, it sounds like you were made for the military. Are you saying that you would sacrifice your life, your only life, for someone else? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. I feel that together we can do it. Eh, you're kind of talking a little sense there, kid. There are sure to be many God, that looks good. I, I think this is the old version though this looks this doesn't look like it was HD remade then again maybe it's supposed to look all fuzzy I don't know I am one of those who need you I am incapable of feeling sorrow but do not throw your life away so easily huh I understand nice character building moment I like it I guess it's interesting that it comes here towards the end because they throw a big plot twist um, they throw a big plot twist in right at the end and kind of spoilers there's a plot twist but you'll figure it out or well, you won't figure it out but you'll see all right let's see how many fucking times am I gonna die here am I gonna die here a million times we'll see so here you are oh yeah Viola this is an order get out immediately no I refuse she wants to fight with the little boy she wants to pin him to the ground and... God! So badly. He's only a kid. Ah! She wants him so badly. It's not just that frame that makes him so good. I know that. It's the fact that he's an unwanted shit kid. The dumbass. Accomplished even without you. So you don't have to die in vain. Damn girl, you look fucked up. You should go put your makeup on. I don't, I don't think that's true. Also, I don't believe that that eye hanging out of the right side of her head was really anywhere in that frame. Unless that isn't supposed to be an eye. Okay, this shit gets a little hectic here, so bear with me if I suck ass at it. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Be sure not to throw the giant murder bomb. Jesus. I'm already having I'm already having trouble. Alright, how do I Trying to disengage from them. I don't remember what the damn escape button is, but I need to grab. Okay, I'm here at the bomb. Okay, I have enough time. I just gotta get rid of these guys, and then the other guys are far enough away. Ah, uh, shit. None. Grab. Here we go. I gotta hold it. Three, two, one. If I get touched at this point, I get fucking messed up. Oh, geez. They were really, they were really trying to fuck me up there, too. We have shot down the enemy. 
Alright, keep scanning. Is that the only enemy right now? Okay. Alright, come on, grab it. Five, three, two, one. Okay, sweet. This is going very well. This is going very well. It's actually kind of really forgiving with the amount of time you have before a bomb explodes, which is good. Alright, that's the only one that's left alive. Cool. These things move so goddamn slow that, I mean, I can just grab and, and very easily disarm these things while they kind of float around and not do much. So basically, as long as I take care of the melee guys from the looks of it, I can uh, handle anything else that comes my way. Right, we're scanning. I need to take care of this guy. And then from there... Oh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, we do have a... Oh, jeez. He's level 7. That's the first high-level guy we've fought. Uh, well, anything past 6 as far as I remember. Come on. Yeah, okay. Uh, here we go. Now we need to go get the bomb. How many bombs are left? Is there a thing that says... I don't remember if they just keep throwing bombs at you until shit goes bad or what. Oh, shit, yeah, hey, and I got an achievement. Let's check it out. I think it's for disarming them all correctly. Yeah, disarmed all the bombs in Hub 1 correctly. Sweet. Cool. All right, so, well, that was that part. That was not nearly as hectic as I remember it being. Maybe I'm just, you know, approaching it methodically, and therefore it's K. It's K! Yay, we did it. Now, there's the chick. Was she just watching, just hanging out there the whole fucking time? Yeah, I'm gonna end it on your chest. Ow! Ow! Why do I keep going there? What is wrong with you? Internet. Oh shit, this is actually a tough fight. Although, I think this one's actually a lot easier up close, even though she's very clearly fucking trouncing me. Jesus, she's she's got my fucking number. Oh, come on, yeah, yeah. Dash attack for the win, bros. Just knock you out of your shit. Yeah, cause you some pain, girl. For all that pain you caused, my lady, Selviche. Selviche? Oh God. Oh God. This is a. Uh... On. I'm trying to clear some space. Okay, cool. Just sit there. Just sit there. It's cool. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, it went through the thing. Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, I call shenanigans. I call shenamanamigans. Are we almost done? Yeah, she's almost dead. Yeah! Yeah! Beast mode! Who's ready for some sad shit? Some sad, contradictory, strange, confusing, slightly erotic shit. Fuck you, bro. I fucked your shit. How is the dick still intact? How are the tits and the dick still intact? Everything else is, co is fucked but the tits and the dick. I'm the giant, 60 foot tall, tranny robot. It's kind of confusing. Yeah, I want to look. What outer camera? Oh. You guys like scan lines? You guys like fake, cool scan lines? This is the part where it's just like, hey, slowly watch a woman die. This is like super serious right now, you guys. We shouldn't be making jokes. What the hell? If you save me, I will fight you again, and I will kill you. You don't really have a good track record on that, lady. You have a decent track record on that. You kill a lot of people. Yeah. Um. We've already determined that there's nothing that can be done. 
Like, we've already determined you're dead and they can't go out there and help you, so... Like, what are you even talking about? How are, are you just being... Are you just being a vindictive bitch at this point? I survived many battles. Thank you for telling us your life story as you slowly die. There's nothing better for us to be doing right now. Oh, well that... That's kind of a reason to go insane, I guess. I don't know. To survive was the only purpose to life. To survive eh. is my life. Yeah, well, it's over now. There's you can a take a nap. Between life and death. Those who were killing or Wait, if your only point was to survive, why didn't you just stop and go, like, live on a farm? Just get out! In their blood and eating their flesh. That's gruesome. So, you're trying to survive by almost getting killed all the time and eating dead people. Apparently it wasn't your common sense. You can survive through peace? I'm a kid. Hi. I like Legos, and one day I want to grow up and be a veterinarian. Nah, not really, I'm 14. Then don't be a dumb bitch. Hey. Hey. Hey, I hope you brought your sunscreen. Wow, that took me a while to get out. That was a horrible joke. Hey, you're fucking burning to death. You're burning! Why don't you just... I'm surprised you aren't screaming at this point. You ever see the guys who like set themselves on fire out of protest? They can only, they can only hold their zen dumb bullshit for so long before they just start screaming and dying to death. Damn. What? You're like yelling at me and then you're thanking me. You don't know what the fuck you want, do you? You're like a 17 year old girl. What? What does that have to do with anything? Oh, so you're just super buttered about your boyfriend too. Okay. So this entire game is just about two combating women who are angry about losing their boyfriend. So, oh shit. Oh, oh, I'm gonna pick up the controller again. Shit's about to go cray cray. Shit's about to go cray cray. You ready for this shit? You ready? Oh, fuck, look at that. What is that? What is that crazy nightmare demon? Look at that fucking thing. That's Anubis, son! Oh my god! You know it? Yeah! That is oh shit! Way to, way to set it up for a sequel. I mean, that's. yeah. That's a strange thing to say. You, you all this. No shit. Not me. What? Oh, you're just being a dumb, lying, dumb bitch. Batch. You're being a batch. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. So, this is a ridiculous fight. You can't, like, you can't, you can't do anything. Like, he, he'll actually fuck you up very badly. And also, you can't use close range attacks and... He's just... Oh yeah. He's a fucking beast. And you can't touch him. Eventually he will wear you down and murder you. Whoa! Oh shit, okay, well, there goes a quarter of my health immediately. Or fuck, a third. Oh shit. You're gonna, oh. Oh god, decoy. Oh god, oh god, oh shit. Oh, oh god. That was brutal. 
so we're what Leo, you didn't touch him you know a game is dire when it's like hey you have to survive for 15 seconds oh shit I'm oh fucking no thanks what are we no 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 I don't even know what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing at this point. Hello? Finally, at the end of the game, I figured out how to remove lock-on. Oh! Explosion! I'm escaping! He's a bad motherfucker. So, that's Anubis. He's kind of beast mode. You might see him again at some point. Not in this game, though. This game is almost over. Shit's almost done, dog. So they're just literally shooting at around me, kind of ish. Yeah. Although, if I can dodge that, why can't Anubis dodge that? You would think you would want to fucking destroy everything. But, you gotta end the video game somehow, right? Yeah. I've docked inside of your weird thingy. Yeah. All right, so mission accomplished. Is our lady friend there with us? Oh wow, that's cool how it uses like the chest plate to kind of cover up the cockpit. That's a really cool design. Good job, boy. I forgot about that. That's super cool. We're Good job, safe. bro. Don't worry. She's just fine. Good. The bullet barely touched her. I don't even know why she was so freaked out to begin with. That wasn't even blood. That was jelly from a sandwich she had earlier. She was completely fine. Three minutes of sitting around. Yay. Thank you for everything. Because you are with me, I survived. I think that's a fair assumption. Thank you for helping me out. Aw. They love each other. They're gonna kiss. You can take care of it in three minutes, kid. Nobody's watching. God, he's so excited. He's like, Woo! Anime happy! What are you going to do now? What? After you reach Mars. You have an important mission, don't you? Yeah. If it's okay with you. I mean, after you finish your mission. Let's bang. Oh, shit. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> It takes the kid a while to, like, register it in his fucking brain. Jehuti will generate a maximum of science filler bullshit. Yeah. Who gives a shit? I'm a robot. You can't bang me anyways. Oh no, sad stuff. Yep, about right. It's not wasting. She's just like, shut up, bitch, I'm not talking about it. God, he's... Oh my. She sounds sad. No! No! So that's, that's the, that's the, the, the plot twist, is that you did all this just so you could blow up at some later date. I mean, it's not really a plot twist, it's just kind of like a sad ending to the game. Yeah, you know how sad he is. He's sad. He's angry. He's, he's, he's watching me get a text. Yay, anime ending. Look at the credits. Hey. So this was a good game with good combat. And he was really short. And the story was, it was there, and it was there to kind of feed into the next game, which I, I, I don't even know if they had even, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't even know if they had funding or if they were actually going to make the second game when this one came out. Like, I wonder if it sold well enough that it got a sequel, which is probably the case. But uh, the combat in this game was great. And the way they expanded upon it in the second game, the natural evolution of the combat was really, really good and really cool. Um, 
but enough about the second game. I said I wouldn't talk about that. Um, this game is part of a HD remix that comes with both of them, um, and if you liked watching this and you want to explore the game more, I would recommend you pick it up. There's a lot to it, uh, a lot more to it than what you saw in my video here. Um, and the package together is one of the better HD remix packages, I would say, on uh, the last-gen consoles, on the 360 and the PlayStation 3. Um, I think the, uh, uh, what is it, what is it, I think the Metal Gear remix that we actually did, uh, 3N a while ago, or could still be going on now, I don't remember, I don't, I'll have to look at my release schedule here, um, I think that one's better, but, uh, this one is definitely awesome as a, uh, a package of, as a re-release of, you know, two kind of not well-known titles. Like, the first game everybody knew about because it came with Metal Gear Solid 2 demo, right? But the second game, I don't know, I don't I don't think it sold very well, but I don't think a lot of people knew about it. Um, just because there were so many other huge franchises at that time, this was almost, the, 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 this one just kind of fell to the wayside and became sort of a niche thing. Um, now, it's, it's definitely one of the very few franchises that are like giant fighting robot franchises, and it's definitely the fastest and the most fluid. Um, like, Armored Core continues to exist to this day, but it's kind of the same weird, backwards, always kind of feels too difficult or unfair type of game, at least to me. I'm sure, that, I'm sure there's plenty of people who can play through it, no problem, but I still have issues with all the games. Um, in fact, I remember on PlayStation 2 as well, playing Armored Core 2, um, the, the best way to make the game easier was to uh, actually lose the game five times in a row. Like, if you, if you basically went bankrupt five times in a row, um, you would be able to... It would unlock a new bonus every time, and it would just start you over with that bonus, and they would accumulate. So then you'd have these five bonuses, including being able to move with shoulder weapons. Um, which, in the game, if you played it, you can't use the shoulder weapons, or a lot of the shoulder weapons, uh, in Armored Core 2, while moving. So they really, you know, they kind of... I guess it's kind of like a Resident Evil 4 scenario where, you know, if you if you die a lot, they, they make the game easier for you, which makes sense. Um, because you want people to... You want people to play and finish your game. Um... And uh, I don't know, I've always had a, a problem with Armored Core for that. The only ones I've ever really finished, I think I think I finished the fourth one. Yeah, I finished the fourth one, but I finished the second one and the, uh, the, the expansion for the second one. I mean, I guess they weren't expansion, or they were expansions at that time, because DLC, quote-unquote, didn't exist. Um, but yeah, back to Zone of the Enders. I mean, it's a really good, really fluid action game. Um, if you're into giant robots and, uh, you know, anime-styled shits and anything like that, I would definitely recommend you pick up the HD re-release, or if you still have a PlayStation 2, the original games. Uh, they're a ton of fun. Metal Gear Solid 2 staff? Oh, this is special thanks, okay. Um, Kojima totally worked on this on the back of Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, very good game. Very good, um... Trying to think of what else to say here. There really isn't too much else to say. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Konami. Thanks, you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. Share with your friends. Let's see what I get. I got a C. Uh, well, that sucks. I guess. Uh, I guess I will see my way out. Bye.